Hey, this 13-year-old boy never made it to his Manhattan high school this morning because he was shot in the neck for no apparent reason, allegedly by 36-year-old Hubert Wiggs, a convicted felon. Now he's facing second-degree attempted murder and multiple weapons charges. The 13-year-old victim was less than two blocks from his home and walking along East 223rd Street about 7.20 a.m. when, for no apparent reason, a man in his 30s who was waving a gun fired at him. The single shot from the revolver struck the boy in his neck. A neighbor heard the shot and called 911. The NYPD says when officers arrived, the suspect had the gun in his hand and did not immediately obey orders to drop it. They gave verbal commands for that individual to drop that firearm. The individual's initial reaction was to try and um, hide it in his waistband. They gave further verbal commands, at which time the individual dropped that object on the ground. The officers moved in, took that individual into custody without incident, and recovered a firearm, a six-shot revolver. The block is full of working families, many with children. Residents reacted with shock and dismay. It's a safe environment, though, I'll tell you that. But for this to happen around this time, like I said, that's really, that's really sad. And that could have been me, just, you know, hearing that a teenager, that, God forbid, that could have been me, you know. So just moments like that, you just got to be grateful and thank, be gratitude, just show gratitude and just be grateful for life. Cause I see a lot of kids of all ages running around uh, at night and day. I would never expect a kid being shot in here. It wasn't the first time the police were called to the East 223rd Street address off Paulding Avenue. Police say the suspect was on parole for a 2010 conviction on firearm and drug charges. He was arrested again in 2019 on a gun possession charge and was let out on bail. It remains an open case. So this individual today is on the street while on parole, while for a firearm, while out on bail on another firearm, and today, he's walking around the Bronx with the firearm. And we have a 13-year-old boy shot in the neck. And for the grace of God, he's alive here today. So this continues to happen. Now, the 13-year-old boy was rushed to Jacoby Hospital, where we're told he's in stable condition. As for Hubert Wiggs, he's facing some very uh, serious felony charges, which, if he's convicted on, will put him behind bars, possibly for decades. As for the gun and bullets, they will be going to the NYPD's crime lab for analysis as part of this ongoing investigation. We're live in Wakefield. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.